Indie Farm Guy here, and this is Greenhouse Modular by Caster DS Agri Service on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on Rock Crawl, the Rock Crawl map, my test map for this, and this is quite a gargantuan pack. It is consists of. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven different, well, even more than that, probably 26 different, 20, 30 different mods, pieces to this mod, not mods, but, and I will try my best to go through each one as uh, clearly and as concisely as possible so where do we start well let's start with the greenhouses for instance so let's get our help window on here because we're going to need help with this so i have this set up as uh it appears let's go up here so as you can see here this is set up in a very particular manner or pattern and that is because i have followed the pattern that is in one of the pictures on the on the mod description by the modder and it is uh, described or set out in there to look like this for a particular reason for so that hmm, well it's just the way he says it works best does it or not i don't know um but let's see where we're going to find it we're going to find it under productions and greenhouses and we have all these pieces now what's good about it even though there is 18 different modules 18 different modules range and it starts from i'm going to count one module two module three four then it goes over here to five then six seven eight nine ten 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 so those are all 18 as you can see down there they range from four to ten slots each on console i'm not gonna i didn't keep track of all the different slots on every piece of so there's just 18 modules there plus all of these other pieces plus a couple of items in the store which we're going to look at so again back to these modules let's go back to the first one module number one and it appears like this so you can see there's two open ends and two closed ends and according to according to the pattern um, um, module one would set down like this with the closed ends on the outer edge as we move over to module two that comes goes up here this way so you can see there's already a pattern developing now you want to get them as close as you can if you have to use the uh, toggle free mode you can but make sure the ground you're putting it on is extremely flat uh, this is a connector greenhouse module three this also goes next to it like so and then we have the end piece module four and that is our first row and as it could say on console it's a little bit there so if we come back here we have our first four first row of one two three and four then it moves over oh darn it sorry backed out too soon let's go back over here and back to productions and greenhouses and no so now module number five is back on this end here like so now you can uh, probably put it fairly close because we'll show you why in a moment module five and then module six goes over here And then module seven goes here, like so. Module eight is a connector again. So we go over here, like so, as close as you can get it. Module eight is like a little hallway. 
and module 9 is another end piece that will go like here and then so on and so on roughly there I'm gonna not I'm not gonna put it down quite so oops actually that was supposed to be Uh, anyways, you get the idea. So here I have it set up. We have, you can fill these manually. Here is the inputs here. Uh, each of these greenhouses is a separate greenhouse. Set up this way, you have access to these spots through here. Yes, how do you get in there? Well, you'd need a very small tractor with a small trailer to input all of these areas um this is just the greenhouses there's other bits and bites and parts and stuff so in the interest of keeping this all simple we're going to demolish all of these and just go with one greenhouse and i'll show you why in a moment okay those are the ones i just built Let's go into our productions. And as you can see, each of these greenhouses is a separate production facility and it will quickly fill up your entire production chain menu. And so in the interest of simplicity, we are going to get rid of all of them except one. Uh, and uh, the reason we're going to do that is so we can simplify the productions menu because we have factories that produce stuff that these greenhouses need. So there we go. Now, now if we look in here, we have one greenhouse. That one greenhouse does the same thing as all those other greenhouses. And if we look at it, <clears throat> we have uh basically three kind two two kinds of recipes we have tomatoes that take water and it ca it's called gh substrate we'll talk about that in a moment that's just part of the recipe seeds and and solid fertilizer so we have two recipes three recipes that use those tomatoes lettuce and strawberries right so we have two different kinds and those are in different different recipes, different amounts, but basically the ingredients are those three things. Then we have this. This takes the GH substrate. It takes nutrient water, hot air, and seeds. Now those are all new to the greenhouse. Uh, the substrate is is a new is a new item. There's lots of new stuff in here. So what does it all mean well then we have all these other factories to support the greenhouse now you could you could go and get those things or make them and and supply them manually or you can build a factory which this is all designed to work with and supply them automatically with the distribute productions um, feature of farm sim 22. so what do we have for productions? Well, we're going to go through them one at a time here. This one is the thermal generator. This one is actually quite very specific in a very specific way. Thermal generator is right here. Uh, we're going to kind of do these in a bit of an odd, the order which I placed them down here. Now, what is this? This, this produces heat. Heat is needed to um in this recipe that little squiggly three squiggly red lines and um yes so that is part of that recipe there's a couple of ways to get it one way is this where is the input well it doesn't have an input because it uses methane which here it is the thermal generator right here thermal generator methane in heat goes out in the form of hot air and you can set that to distributing and it will send it to all your greenhouses where do you get the methane 
not from this pack. You get it from a BGA or something that distributes methane. There are a number of mods that create specifically BGA plants, some of them that distribute methane and you can set it to distribute and it will send it here and then this will make heat and send it out. Do you need this to run everything? No, you don't need that. So if you're trying to get methane, I, like I said, you'll just have to look for a BGA plant that produces methane that you can distribute. I don't know of one right now. I'm not going to fool with it. The next one we're going to go is the groundwater pump. Now, what is that? Here is a groundwater pump. It produces water. Good. Uh, we need water. You can supply water to the greenhouse manually or with a with this to distribute water to it. A diesel or electric charge. Electric charge um, is produced by one of the other factories in this pack. Diesel fuel, you can easily add diesel fuel as I have added here, 500 liters. Let's start that. And you can set that to distribute and it will distribute the water to your greenhouse. The GH water distribute. What is that? Well, that's for another factory. Let's turn that on, diesel fuel or electricity. And let's just turn these all on. Right now we're not producing any electricity, so it's red. We'll get to that in a moment. We can set that to distribute. GH water distribute. Let's, uh, let's just move on, we'll get to that. This is the substrate storage. What is substrate? Well, it looks like it's some kind of a substance that is required in all of the and in, in all of the recipes. So you must have this, you must use substrate to grow anything with this pack or these pack of greenhouses. Where do you get it? You get it in the store under objects and pallets. And here it is, greenhouse substrate, $950 per 1500 liters. It also, you can also buy seeds, although any seed I'm sure will do. Um, oh yes, seeds will have to be manually put in. There is no, unless you have a seed factory you can distribute from. We'll show that if I remember. Now, here is the substrate. You cannot buy it in bulk. You cannot put it in a trailer. You cannot auto load it onto something. I've tried those things. None of them work. Uh, where is my forklift? Mm. Oh, here we are. Let's go over there and I'll show you where it goes in and then you set that to distribute and it will distribute it to your greenhouse. Now you can manually put this substrate in directly into the greenhouse as well. <clears throat> Just so you know, if you, uh, I have, a, I get a lot of questions saying this doesn't go in, it's not going in here. I guess we'll have to address so right here is a fill point right there right there not not here not in here right here that is where it fills right there so notice it disappeared if we go and look at our GH substrate it goes in and it goes out it basically there to distribute this substrate to the greenhouses. As I said, you can take the pallet of substrate and actually manually input it into each greenhouse. Now, if you only have one greenhouse, you probably just want to just do it manually. But the, the, the point of all those, all of these factories is when you have all those greenhouses in a modular, modular? fashion uh, it would take you forever to um, to manually put it in each one of them all 18 of them Ooh. right moving on this is the um, nutrient water production so uh, you have two 
recipes. One with solid fertilizer, one with liquid fertilizer. I have put liquid and solid fertilizer in each of them and they'll turn it on. Notice it goes red because I don't have the GH water distribute yet. Uh, that is what this is producing GH water distribute. So I have to turn this one on, the groundwater pump on first and have it distribute over to the solid fertilizer blending station in order for that to start producing nutrient water and then set that to distribute so it will distribute it to the greenhouses. Are you confused yet? I would be very shocked if you weren't. Um, right, more factories. Let's stick with the factories for the moment. This is uh, let's go in here. This is the combined thermal power station. This produces electricity and hot air. Both those things are needed to, in this production chain. And um, it says it takes wood chips and straw. Unfortunately, I have not been able to get it to take straw for some reason. Um, and the wood chips you have to dump in the top. I backed up a trailer. It would not accept it out here. So anything you put in has to go up top and in. And um, right. So for whatever reason, I can't get straw to go in there. Wood chips I got. 150,000 liters. I'm guessing the straw is the same. So we're going to set the electricity and the hot air to distributing. And uh, away she goes. There. So those are running. Uh, if we go over to our tomatoes and all that stuff, there's nothing in there. We're going to turn turn them all on anyways. <clears throat> and if we run over there, run, 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 run faster. Um, we can see that is growing now. Um, tomatoes, looks like tomatoes. They all look like tomatoes. They all are tomatoes, and I've yet, I've turned them all on. So that's a bit odd. I'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to look like or not. Oh, excuse me. And I'm uh, guessing it's going to all appear, the produce is going to appear here. Oh, we still need to put in, uh, we don't have seeds. We actually we don't have anything in there. We need solid fertilizer and seeds uh we're gonna have to actually manually put those in right so uh let me get back to you all right so if we just quickly look here i've got the seeds and solid fertilizer in our greenhouse all we're waiting for is a water gh substrate uh, or the substrate distribute so uh, either one of those will actually work. It's just how it gets there, right? And then nutrient water and hot air, those are all being produced by... Oh, let's turn that on and send it to distributing. Water's turned on. Methane, I'm not... I don't have methane to generate heat, but I have wood chips. So I can't get the straw in. Let's do a little bit of a... Yes, so what's next? We have these, these are in sheds, buildings and sheds. We have three of them. Basically they orient in a, only those four positions. Uh, they actually give income $480 per month. I'm on easy economy. So we have three of them. They, I'm assuming they, or it says they're go with the greenhouse setup somehow. I'm not really sure exactly how that's all supposed to fit together. They do give income though, so that's nice. The solar panels on the roof. There is one last one that is actually in silos. Pallet storage. Right, so let's take a look at the pallet storage. Does not store bales, pallets only. 
so when you come over here and put it over here it automatically pops in here it is not actually there but it's showing there 200 pallets and it shows what I have in there right now I have GH substrate just because that's what I have if we come over here I want to remove that and there it is there it is it's too heavy to pick up 810 kilograms but if we come over here and push it back within those striped lineys it should pop back into there we go so it pops back in there and it'll appear there so it'll store up to 200 pallets and uh, it will save you a little bit on the pallet count right so what's next I think that's covered all the items now if uh, if you've watched this video to this point and you're wondering saying how come I can't get product into this factory or why doesn't it go into there I showed you where it goes into here right there if it's not going in there then you have placed it somewhere and something is either blocking it or you have some kind of a mod conflict as you can see I did show you it going in there this one product goes in here so I have a tank here we're gonna show all the other places stuff going in that I haven't so far once we run the factories and uh, which I'm going to do right now so we'll see you in a moment I oh, want there's smoke coming from that that's cool the factory is working there's smoke coming out of the smokestack nice touch all right so uh, one month has actually a little less than a month because by the time I started it was 10 20 in the morning it's now nine o'clock in the morning we have produce we have all the different kinds we have strawberries we have lettuce we have tomatoes and we have more strawberries even though the plants are all oh those look like strawberries don't they or are they tomatoes tomatoes or strawberries very much look like tomatoes as how tomatoes plants would look but anyways that's just a visual right so how about our factories let's have a look see of what we've got and what we've run out so let's start at the top uh, the tomatoes uh, we have run out of substrate which is not surprising I only put about 3,000 liters in there or so and that has distributed out and it, that has gone poof uh, however um, well, these ones still for some reason they're still going even though there's no substrate left that's interesting hmm oh the GH substrate distribute distributable that's why that's oh well that's that's interesting um, the distributable one is different than the substrate one that you put in manually so those top three you have to manually put that stuff in and the bottom three here are the ones that you have distributed to nice solid fertilizer we have oh and it's we got lot, lots of production so no lack of production fertilizer 10,000 liters of nutrient water it is tapped out at that so that could supply many more than just one obviously the substrate yes that's we know that we've run out of that we just need to put more of in there to create that right got it groundwater pump we have run out of diesel so it ran out of diesel pretty fast electric charge we got lots so it's still producing water and gh water distributable quite a lot of it so that's no problem groundwater pump is working well methane we didn't have on because we don't have methane wood chips we got lots of wood chips there and it's creating enough electric charge and hot air to supply everything so that's working good even though we didn't have straw I don't know why I can't get straw in there but I can't right uh, let's go back here and I will now show you The liquids going into this this is the pump and the pump takes diesel fuel 
diesel fuel as you can see here very easily goes right in there and that's the water pump that's the only thing electricity is supplied from the wood chips see that that's where it's going to the water pump electric and water and water pump right so next next is this this is this factory is the solid fertilizer and solid uh it both says solid fertilizer where one's solid one's liquid they're both making nutrient water I have solid fertilizer here that should go in here it did go in before although I was having uh, yeah all right so there is one issue with with this input I think the trigger level is a little bit um, too low liquid fertilizer Oh, now I'm stuck. Am I stuck? Really? Really? Okay, hold on. Okay, liquid fertilizer here. That's where the liquid fertilizer goes in. I'm going to have to get a different trailer. Give me a moment. Oh, solid fertilizer should be going in here. I think there's a... This is the base game trailer. It should. Hold on, let me see. Maybe I have the, uh, maybe I have the tilt a little bit. No. So there, there's a, I did get some solid fertilizer in there before. It does go here. However, I think the trigger height is too low. Ah. <sighs> which makes it highly annoying and let's see here uh, let me go get a different method here I can pour it in with a bucket this action cannot be done here all right I don't know what's wrong with the oh now it's dumping it on the floor right so I did get fertilizer in here initially now it won't go in so I don't know I don't really know what's going on there Oh dear, this is quite a large pack, so not a surprise that there is some problems with this. Um, now where was I? <clears throat> right, I think we covered everything. So, that won't take straw. That stopped taking fertilizer. What else? Um, right. I think everything else is working so far. Hopefully that covers everything. If you have any questions, I'd like to try to answer it. If it's not doing something, if you can't get something into whatever that I haven't covered already, try a few things. Try a different trailer. Try to place the um, factory or whatever in a spot. Not using toggle free mode. There's many things that can go wrong with this game now that we've had so many mods. There could be a mod conflict. Many, many different things. Anyways, hopefully that has got it all. Thank you all for watching. That's the Greenhouse Modular by Caster DS Agri Service on Farming Simulator 22. Thank you all for watching. And remember, it's only a game. So till next time, bye for now.